there's a dangerous um, trend happening in society right now in social media, which is that a lot of young people are finding fame, I think, too early. I mean, we, we, we all have heard of the child stars, you know, Hollywood child stars or, or uh, musical acts, or, you know, musicians who get famous and then they, they haven't learned how to handle that fame. And so they get into drugs or, you know, other issues that come with, with popularity and fame. Um, and now, of course, but lots of influencers, Instagram, TikTok influencers, and just like, not just young people, adults too, who find kind of overnight fame, like haven't really developed the personal growth and the attention to their own narcissistic tendencies, which we all have. You know, we all have this spectrum that we all have tendencies of narcissism and we all have tendencies of echoism. And I want to thank Tia Ma, T-I-A-M-A. You can, she's teaching a course on narcissist versus echoist. The echoism is the opposite side of narcissism where it's like you apologize too much and you just repeat back what others say. You know, you, you've lost your own voice and you just kind of parrot back what others say. But we all have that. We all have, we all have the tendencies for, for both sides. It's really the, the dynamic of the relationship with whom we're talking to, right? But the thing about online content creation is that it has the danger of turning all of us into narcissists or, 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 or stoking the narcissism within us. I mean, there, there's what's well-known stories of spiritual leaders who seem all spiritual and enlightened when they're speaking and giving sermons and lectures, but when you get to know them privately, they are, they're narcissists. They are, you know, not very, not very enlightened, you know, and I've, I've seen business leaders too. I, I, in fact, I can think of a specific one who was quite well known and I was able to get close to him for a short time, at least get close to his, um, his assistant. And he seems he's written books and he, about enlightened business and very enlightened apparently, you know, on TED, TED Talks and on, on lectures, but his assistant says, man, he's really difficult to work with. Like he's, he's not nice, not a nice person. And it's like, that's the kind of, and that's, I, I'm, I'm well aware of that within myself, which is why I'm glad that I haven't gotten overnight success. Well, I kind of, in early on in my business, I kind of had this bump where I had like, you know, relatively quickly, I had 10,000 email subscribers um, and it's over time after a while, when I got into authentic business, I removed most of those email subscribers because they don't really well, well, well built, not true fans. But so I kind of had a taste of fame for a little while and, and I'm glad nowadays I'm building my fame very slowly, very gradually over time. I mean, you know, I had 3000 Facebook fans in 2015 and now in 2022, I have 8,000 Facebook fans. It's very gradual, not suddenly 800,000 or whatever, right? And I think the gradual growth is good for my own personal development because, I, and I'm always really careful when people praise me. I, I just, it's like, don't drink the Kool-Aid, George, you know, because it's like, it's so easy to become a narcissist when people just praise you all the time. Like, oh, you're so great. Oh, you know, like, no, I'm, a, I'm still a judgmental person. I'm still a you know, I still have that side of me and I have to be aware of that. I have to notice those parts and continually try to integrate and transform those things. And I just, I'm, I'm worried that so many people in, in online now are getting uh, popular without having, and their personal development has not caught up with that. Their awareness of their narcissistic tendencies have not caught up with that. And so they don't treat their students, their private students, well, they might look like they're, and a lot of internet marketers, people in my niche, right? They sell so powerfully. Uh, they're, 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 you know, it's like this kind of narcissism goes into copywriting and selling as well. Enrollment, it's like they, they hype up their programs and they, they charge a narcissistic price. Also, it's like some of their pricing is like, oh, are you serious? But they, 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 they sell so well. And then by the time you get into their programs, you're like, the customer support sucks. You know, like, you know, like I, 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 they promised me the sun and the moon. I go into this program and it's really not like that. You know, and like I said, I have to be aware of that. My, that's, that's basically narcissism. You know, it's like, so anyway, I just wanted to share that. Like, it's, it's okay to grow gradually. 
always being aware of how our own, how are we reacting to praise? And are we continuing to say, well, I've got so much within me to integrate and to be willing. And as I've said this before, to be willing to make a fool of yourself publicly too. And I do this purposefully. I purposely make a fool of myself on a regular basis because I don't want to grow that fast. Because it's almost like I'm, maybe I'm subconsciously trying to push people away or self-sabotage. It could be self, some self subconscious self-sabotage. But I also do it consciously because I'm like, I, 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 want to, I almost want to push away the people who aren't ready for the whole of who I am at this stage. Maybe later when I'm more enlightened, they'll be more ready for me at that point. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so those of you who are still watching, thank you for being willing to put up with my foolish sides that I, that I show sometimes. So, and I'm continuing to grow and, I, and let's all continue to be aware of those sides of ourselves.